Welcome back to another video on the America Map, episode 19. Today we got the John Deere 8370R, and we got the Case 870 Ripper here. Uh, this Ripper is actually a plow tech. It has the actual plow um, trigger, whatever you want to call it, in it. So it's got the uh, trigger for all that stuff for the plowing. So we're going to head over to a field and start ripping here today, or plowing. Whatever we want to do. Uh, we might as well go down and get these sugar king fields done. Get them done because I'm tired of this stuff regrowing. Because every time you re uh, you speed up the time, the sugar king regrows. So it kind of sucks. It might be a little bit better in a little lag in here. Easy, George. Um, which sugar king field are we going to start in first? I'm thinking this one over here. Let's turn them off. Starting this bugger. The only thing that the lights do not actually work on this ripper, so that's kind of a bummer, but at the same time, it's okay. So this is a bit bigger one than what we run in real life. But it's like one of the ones that we ran in real life there. We uh, Remember how we were helping the neighbor out? I posted it not long ago. This is the exact same one as he got in real life. So Let's get ripping. So this video might be a little bit short. We'll have to see how things go. But first off, we're going to start plowing some ground up. 8 mile an hour. It's pretty good. Should be able to just plow this stuff up pretty darn quick. Especially because we're pulling it at 8 mile an hour, so it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, this is pretty nice. I got. We'll leave a little bit there for headlands to do. So we can actually turn pretty darn uh, sharp right around with this thing. So that's a nice, really nice feature that they got on this river. Um, I'm gonna put, probably get a Google Drive set up for all those mods that you guys have really wanted for the last bit. I'm gonna put them all in a Google Drive here for you guys because a lot of you guys want the uh, skid steer attachment and the uh, 4640 you guys wanted. And yeah, I can give you some of them all. Link you guys up. I'll put a drive with all my mods in them for you guys so that you guys can download them and maybe play on one of the streams or two. There's no private mods in here, so we're all good. There might be one or two, but they're released, I'm quite sure. Took a little bit of a small turn right there. So we're just gonna go down this side, up the other, you know? That's how I do it in real life here. Nice small little field. Um, I think this requires this, this this ripper here in farm sim requires 400 horsepower. I know that for a fact because I had to look it up the other night just to just make sure this tractor would actually work. So it's awesome. It works. We're all good there. Yeah, let me know how you like my new uh, headset and stuff. Um, I'm probably looking into getting pigs next. You guys really want some pigs bad, so I'm thinking we could do it. A lot of you guys for uh, commenting in the last video, you guys want some pigs. We'll see what we can do. But it probably won't be for a bit, just because I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to look at the requirements. What pigs all need? They're gonna need corn, wheat, or oats. I don't know what they all require. Actually, let's have a quick look right here. Maybe. Uh, where is this under? I don't know if I can check. Jobs? No. You guys probably know where it is, but I don't. Which one? There it is. Um, animals? Pigs, right there. So they do choir, corn, barley, or wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, and sugar beets. Manure and slurry. Slurry. So. They need a whole bunch of stuff, what I figured. But I wonder if it's optional how it was last time, or last time in 17, that there was an option you could either give them like soybeans or canola, wheat or barley, canola or, or corn or something. 
suppliers, I think it's something like that. But there's probably something like that, you know. Wow, this thing's already getting dirty. We just literally did a couple rounds. That's all good. Tractor's getting dirty too, so. I feel like I could run this plow up and down these fields all day long. This is what I do. I do this in real life all the time with the 9370, with the 9360R. I really like doing it. It's awesome, fun. So I love doing this sort of stuff. I wish uh, this plow might have been a little bit bigger in farm sim, just because it it take forever to go and plow like the whole Ravenport map over here. So uh, when I say on the American map, I am meaning Ravenport. Or that's what it is. We're not on rolling hills. Firebug does rolling hills. I do Ravenport. So, there you guys got it. You guys have been asking quite a bit in the last bit of the comment section I see. Um, so I'm answering as many questions as I can. I'll get the mods for you guys. Maybe this video or next video. But I am also going to go work on the farm tour video here again today. So, it should be done for Christmas Eve. Or not Christmas. But New Year's Eve. Do you guys want it to go up on New Year's or New Year's Eve? Let me know by dropping a comment. And we'll go from there. Which day will you prefer it? I might do a poll. I'll have to see how things... Uh, if I get some time, I might do a poll quick and ask you guys. What day would be better? What time? Probably any time because a lot of you guys are out of school right now and stuff like that because you're off for the holidays and stuff New Year's is coming up so maybe you went back to work for maybe on Thursday or something you know, who only knows that's V, not C let's run a little bit of egg cab in here hopefully we don't miss any if you guys can listen well enough you can actually hear the ripper going Pretty cool, eh? What do you guys like me doing? Inside the cab or outside the cab quite a bit more? But there is certain stuff that I need the in cab for, and there's certain stuff that I'm so used to doing outside of the cab because there is no GPS in here yet. But if there is GPS, it's a whole different story. Just because I could go like this and I wouldn't have to worry about getting off my uh, track and missing some. But if it's like a small strip like this, I think I'm okay to just kind of put the tongue in the center of her and drive. Basically got one field done. Nice outfit here. Who doesn't like running a John Deere 8370 R on a Case 870 Ripper here? I know I do. You guys like doing that stuff? Let me know. Let me know what your favorite job is to do on the farm. I don't know what my favorite job would be. Probably like cultivating, like VT and cultivating. I think I prefer cultivating better. I don't know. There's just something about it I like. This ripper is probably going to get ran by someone else in here later tonight. Hopefully someone else will jump in here and uh, can run this for me here. Uh, when I'm demon, probably get him in here and keep this tractor running all night here for us. That way it is not stopped at all. It's going to keep all the ripping done. And then we'll be finishing up probably tomorrow. We'll finish up the plowing. The two bigger fields might get them. Not sure where we'll end up. Then we got to start being VTing stuff. So the option probably is going to end up being is we're probably going to pull the pin on this ripper on this tractor, put the 7R on this one, and put the uh, get the 
Selford bought. I haven't bought the Selford yet, but it's in here. Um, we'll put the Selford. I end up putting the Selford on this tractor, because just because it's got better flotation than those uh, big tires on that 7R, um, it's not going to be the end of the world on the 7R, because the Ripper is just going to rip it up. So we got to back up and get over here, because this feels a little weird. Sugar King way over in the grass. Just nice and run this guy over a little bit. Um, yeah, so we'll just keep ripping this up. That's like a water tower kind of a thing. It's kind of weird. Just keep uh, ripping here. Looks like the front blades are hardly touching the ground oftentimes. Because this field isn't smooth, right? So you're bouncing up and down a bit. I don't know. I don't know if I'm really going to do much more Sugar King. Sugar King was quite a hassle, and we're not going to play it as much as we did here either. We're going to grow a small field of it. What field would you guys... I'll show you guys the fields what we own right there. The ones in green. So that are... So here's basically what we own down here. Any of these fields, you guys let me know which one you guys want, and we'll drop some Sugar King in it. Preferably not these two. Uh, any of these two, I'm guessing, so probably end up in this one, I'm thinking. Nice to the home farm. We'll see. Let me know. But I'm thinking about 23 next for Sugar King when we play in the spring here. Even though there's no seasons, but we're calling this like fall right now because we're doing fall tillage and stuff like that. Oh, we missed them. Backing up. everything up that way it gets the soil that we need turns it over because basically all you're doing is you're turning up the old soil and bringing it up and putting all the like the new nutrients down in deeper when you spread all that fertilizer and stuff on top so as you guys um watch probably a lot of real life farmers like i'd recommend like how farms work and all that stuff okay we're back over here in field 22 we're gonna start ripping up the sunflower ground Let's get that all nice and chewed up. Uh, we'll start creating a field here. And let's straighten this out that way. Because this plow is all a straight base of equipment. It's not like the mower plows. They're like kind of a triangle, weird, goofy thing. So we're going to square this field up pretty darn good here today. Maybe a little too far, but... We'll get her later. Turn that crate field thing off, and let's... We're down about here. Sometimes you even forget to do it in real life. You forget to drop the ripper. The ripper doesn't want to go down. I've had that problem here once in a while. I'm back doing the same thing. I'm hitting V instead of C. So the nice thing about this um, sunflower ground here is we can actually see the corn stalk or the sunflower stalks here. So we can guess how many we want to skip over. In real life, this ripper is probably cover... I'm not sure how many stalks it would cover. I know our ripper take about six rows of corn stalks out at a time. This one's probably close there. Probably like 10. So we also gotta get working on these cows, but that's gonna be another day. Cause I gotta get help for those cows. Cause those cows, cause I just was checking here all of a sudden and I was sweating through, look at them. Like they got nothing. So they're at zero. We gotta get working on them pretty good. Um, we'll have to get Demon in here to help us, or Ryla or someone. It's just gonna be a lot easier mixing powder food because it takes forever in here. 
So we're gonna get one person that way, one person will be constantly in the mixer and loading me. That way I'm not hopping in and out so many times because it really drives me nuts. Especially how it wasn't like 17. All right, give about three loads and you're done. 19, it's probably like more like 15 to 20 loads that we've noticed when we first started up, but it's probably about the same here again. We'll just have to see how things go. on the forecast here at Farm Simulator 19. We don't need no rain for quite a while. Well, what's your guys' favorite tractor in Farming Simulator 19? Let me know also. Just, if you guys got some questions, I'm just curious, how many, uh, how big of a farm you guys run on your farm here? And stuff? You guys run pretty big? Probably. Sorry about the last little few videos that have always had a little bit of lag. I do apologize, guys. It's like, I can't really do nothing about them. It's, I'm going to have to upgrade to my, I'm going to get a better computer, put better graphics card stuff in here, probably shortly in the new year sometime. It's just I can find time to go to the store and uh, get some better graphics cards and all that stuff. I might buy them online, might be cheaper. I'll have to see, but uh, there's a place in uh, about 15 minutes away from here. Fifth, 25 minutes away from here. It's got good computer parts that I got the computer parts from it this last time. They're pretty cheap. Um, I'm going to look around online this time and see if I can find anything cheaper. Just because I want to go a cheaper route because I'm going to probably spend a grand into this computer. With new motherboard and better graphics card probably. So, yeah. You know what would be really cool that they would made it so you've been able to drive over the corn stalks and you'd actually take them over. You'd actually pack them down so you could actually see your marks more too. That would have been really nice. Still, it's got a little bit of a hill to it, but not too bad. I might grow a few more sunflower acres. We'll see. But I never really, uh, I wasn't really counting how many acres and stuff, all of that. I wish they had the convert mod over here, how you could see how many bushels to the acre and all that stuff you're covering. Because that was pretty nice. The unique convert mod was really awesome. do put about a couple rounds of headlands up and down. I'll show you back over here. We'll put half of the headland on back over here. That way you guys can see what I do. You just put about the width of your planter. Our planter and farm sim is only going to be about two, but I'm still, I'm going to put about three widths on here just for the sake of it. That way it gets nice and all ripped up both ways here. So you bring this out all the way here. We're gonna back up, just for the sake of it. And Farmer Nick can drive here, you know. It'd be awesome. Drop her down, create the field. 
go all the way across it pretty much. We might as well just go straight across that way we get this straight line. Probably gonna take more of that land up over there yet too. Just keep doing that. Anyways, this is this isn't plowed. We're just gonna run back over this. It's not gonna hurt. It's farm sim, right? And we just do the exact same thing. Let's go across it again. I'm basically showing you what we do for headlands in real life right here. I got to put the third one on here. Drop her down. So there you guys have it. That's what we do in real life right there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I do apologize about this lag. I have no idea why it's lagging like a bugger here today, but if you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.